Nigerians are groaning as the federal government again slams a 5% increase on data and phone call. These, they say, will help the government generate about 160.46 billion naira in 2023. Public affairs analyst Dr. Madika says this is not a progressive tax policy. The government, in the bid to diversify revenue generating institution, is seeking to generate from non oil industries. The oil industry has been the major source of revenue for Nigeria, generating 95% of Nigeria's foreign exchange earnings and 80% of its budgetary revenues. However, since the persistent fall in the revenue generated from oil, the total revenue of the country has been on a downward slope. As of 20 this year now, in the last six months, uh, revenue accruable to federal government from CBN was $2.7 uh, billion. And uh, states have been shouting what happened to the revenue that are accruable. So it's discovered that it's wastages. It's not even revenue that's the problem we have in this country. It's the wastages. How is this $2.73 billion as at now when even Ukraine and Russian war is on? And prices of uh, uh, crude oil has increased. So there's no basis. After all, We've just given uh, Niger uh, Republic some money. Uh, we've constructed the refinery for them. We've done really well for them. We've done super highway for them. At whose money? And you're, now the burden is now being borne by Nigerians. How do you? How can you? How can you compromise that? Nigerians who now start paying 12.5% tax on telecommunication services. Madoka laments the uncomfortability this will bring to a country with 43% poverty rate. Madoka advises the government to diversify the revenue generation in a way that is not detrimental to its citizens. Madoka says, however, that a major problem is that Nigerians, no matter the amount of tax generated, get nothing in return from the government. Nigeria has always been at the, at the receiving end of every government policy. Nobody cares about the citizens. And that's why when you, they, they come up with issues about these taxations, they are not looking at it, the direct implication to the consumers. The the they, they, they increased Ghana had almost 3.5 trillion last year. So what impact? The money is not the problem according to Goa and those days. It is how to spend it. But unfortunately, recently, how we spend it according to government officials is to spend it on, first of all, buying exotic cars, buying luxurious cars, going overseas. Now the, the House of Assembly or NAS, they are all outside. They all traveled out. At whose expense? At me and you. And the tax they are talking about is coming out from us.